All right, I finally got my um, Q-Brain and programming card for my quadcopter I'm building. Uh, I'm going to unbox it right now. Uh, see what's going on here. Things always come really, really well packed. It seems like no problem with the packing that they do from uh, Hobby King. Okay, there's the Q brain. You can see it through its bag, sort of. I got the bigger one. There's two of them. There's a 20 amp and a 25 amp. I, I opted for the bigger one just to keep the overheating under control. And then here's the uh, Turnergy programming card. Program your ESCs. And by the way, this is my ESCs right here. They're four in one. It's, it's a uh, compact unit. You don't have to stick them out on the arms. So it comes with that, and it comes with uh, what's called a hub. This is how you can uh, set up your ESCs on this thing, or if, if you have a, let's say, a model that's not a quadcopter. And you want to run four throttles at once, you can do it with this. Plug this into your receiver and you can power all four throttles at the same speed using this. But normally, uh, I guess what most people use it for is to set up your ESCs. Um, you can do all four of these at once using this throttle. Uh, the difference here between my q ring that I've got right now and the one I had, the uh, Emacs, piece of junk um, is size uh, it's just this thing's just huge and heavy and this thing's small and light this is obviously a much higher quality product than this at least from what I'm seeing okay and uh, I'll go into more details on what I'm doing with this thing after the uh, after I get it put into the quadcopter. I guess I, I figured it's time to uh, break out the programming card as well. I think we get a better view of that. It comes with instructions, thank God. All this stuff actually came with instructions. These pieces of paper right here, even if they're in Chinglish, it's way more than I got with this. I got nothing from that. I got no instructions. Uh, online there may be one video covering this thing. So if you're looking for a 4 in one ESC, here's the difference. Size, weight, quality. Um, this thing's junk. It's, I'm pretty sure it's dead. It might not be. I might be able to actually use this and get it back to life. If I do, I'm either going to save it for a, some, some kind of a model down the road or whatever. But uh, that's about it for the uh, unboxing here today. Here we're going to, you're going to listen to the little song I got programmed here. damn thing armed and messed around with everything to, with all the settings in Arduino until I finally got it working anyway I here's here's arm condition with that red light right there and then here's disarmed so it's actually working the way it should down right arm down left disarm so I'm gonna arm it and I'm gonna spin the motors up I have to recalibrate them because what I did is when I calibrated the ESC, uh, the motors were hooked up differently than they are right now, and I'm sure that they're starting and stopping at different times. So what I'm going to do is, the way they're hooked up right now, I'm going to recalibrate the uh, ESCs to the motors. 
Um, and I also have to figure out which way they're spinning. So that's my next step. All right.